Hello guitar pickers, how you doing today? This is the TribeMusicStudio.com, I'm Gene. Today's lesson is on the song Mr. Bo Jangles, written by Jerry Jeff Walker, made more famous by the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. And so this is my take on it, the way I like to play this song. I believe I did a uh, performance video on this. So anyway, here's the lesson. Let's get started, do a close up. Okay, so this song is in the key of D, and uh, if you're with a partner and you decide you want to take a lead on this and do a little picking, you could use your D major scale for it, uh, even though it really doesn't have that in, but that doesn't mean we can't put that in. Oh yeah, we can. Uh, this song has five verses and two choruses. The strum pattern for this song is going to be a bass note for every chord that we're playing. So if we're playing a D, you play a D bass note. If we're playing a D slash C sharp, you're playing a C sharp bass note with that D chord, and etc. etc. And we play the bass note and count that as one, and it's a downstroke. And then you play a downstroke and an upstroke. Down, up, down, up. So it's bass note, down, up, down, up. Bass note, down, up, down, up. Counting one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and whichever one you like best, that's the one to use, whichever works best. Counting or just saying down up. Um, the song has a little intro. Starts with a D, D, down up, down up. I like the hammer on there on the third string open, hammered on to the third string second fret. To, from a G, uh, from a G to an A. Hold on. And that D bass note again. And then I put in a little run. A new man. That little run is five zero fifth, fifth string open uh, to fifth string second fret to fifth string fourth fret to your fourth string open. So it's A, B, C sharp, D. All right. So I'm going to do that whole intro. I knew a man Bojangles and he danced for you. Like so. Okay. And do whatever tempo you like to. A little faster, a little slower, okay, what works best for you. Uh, so, there's our intro. We're, I started out with that, a new mambo jangles, and the chord progression now goes from a D, new mambo, to a D slash C sharp. So we're making the D chord, the C sharp is here in the fifth string, fourth fret. And then switch the D around with your last three fingers, so we have first finger free to play the fifth string second fret, the B note bass note, for D slash B. And then we're going to a D7, so we just lift that off and drop that right now, and it's D7 slash A, so we're going to be playing the fifth string open. See the bass notes walking down, it's going dee, 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 dee. keeps getting lower. Uh, so anyway, there's that D slash A, which is bass note, down, up, down, up. Counting one, two, and three and then go to G, play the G bass note, which is the sixth string third fret. Bass note down, up, down, up. To an A7, uh, which and make sure her worn out. Okay, so the G's held a little longer. The G's play it here, one, two, and three in, and then I like to hammer on here with the um, 
fifth string open to the fifth string second fret, the B note, and down up, down up, and then the A7. And A7 too is held for two, two times playing that, two measures, like counting the A, uh, fifth string open, one, two, and three in, and then hammering on here in the fourth string, second fret, to an E. Now that whole section there, that D, D slash C sharp, D slash B, D slash A7, G, and A7, is all repeated again uh, for the next part of the vocal. So I'm going to do the whole thing. A new man, Bojangles, and he danced for you. Worn out shoes, here it comes again, with silver hair and ragged shirt and old baggy pants. The old soft shoe. Now we go into the next part, which is a G. He jumps so to a D high. Oh, excuse me, high. To just that's it. Then to an F sharp. He jumps so F sharp bass note. Jumps so B minor. High, B bass note, 5th string, 2nd fret. B minor slash A, you got to back your finger off there so you can get the open A. E9, it's like making an E7, but you add the 1st string, 2nd fret, which is an F sharp, which is a 2nd in the E major scale, or a ninth. that's why it's called an E9. And you pick that E bass note, I like to hammer on the 5th string 2nd fret, that B. And then we need an A11. It's played like this. No fingers. Look, Ma, no hands. If you can't play that chord, you better quit. Um, so, and now what that is, it's an A, uh, again, it's an A11, and it's played with your A string open, and then the the, uh, the fourth string open, the D. And then we make an A7. And I like to hammer on there in the fifth, fourth string, second fret. All right, now that, all of that is your first verse. And we need to play all of that from that D uh, all the way through to this second part that I just mentioned with the A11, A7 at the end. You do all of that three times in a row for the first three verses. Remember earlier I said it has five verses. So you play three of them before we go into the chorus. So the first verse is the one that starts, A new man, Bojangles, and he danced for you. Second verse is, A man and man, a cell in New Orleans I was. And the third verse is, he said his name, Bojangles, then he danced a lick. Which takes us into the chorus. The chorus starts out the way I like to do this. Fifth string open. Fifth string first fret and fifth string second fret. So we're going from an A to an A sharp to a B. Because we're going to be making a B minor chord. Hit that, it's down up, down up. Mr. Bojangles to an A chord, hitting the A bass note open. And I like to do that hammer on fifth string, second fret. And we, so I'm going to do that, that whole thing here. Mr. Bojangles. All right, we need to do that three times in a row. By the way, I like to hammer on here when I get to the B, I, I hit the B bass note, and that down up, down up, but also like to hammer on then here in the fourth string, fourth fret. Or else just pick it, you don't have to hammer. Mr. Bojangles, one time. Mr. Bojangles. Mr. Bojangles, come on in. Here's the end part of the chorus. That was three times in a row. The end part goes to D and says dance. D 
slash C sharp. Now we come to this chord, it's a D6 over 9. And it's like making a D slash F sharp with your little finger on the 4th string 4th fret, but you want to take these two fingers off of the D. So all you have is your second, uh, excuse me, your third string second fret and your fourth string fourth fret and string number one and two open for this D6 over nine. It goes uh, from, from the D to the D, I'm going to do the whole thing. Dance. Here comes the D6 nine. So we hit the F sharp and now we need the A bass note here, uh, the F sharp with 4th string 4th fret and the A note is your 3rd string 2nd fret, which is getting, you know, you're playing 1, 2, and 3 in, down stroke, down, up, down, up, and back into a D. And then we're on. You hold this D as long as you like. Sometimes I hold it 4 measures, sometimes I go right into the next verse. Again, I do my thing with it, whatever I'm feeling at the time. And that will take us into verse number four. So we go back to the very beginning, that real long chord sequence, and we start verse four, which is, He danced for those at minstrel shows and county fairs. Which then takes us to verse 5, which starts, He said, I dance now at every chance at honky-tonks. So there was verse 4 and 5. We played that whole chord progression, which takes us now to the second chorus. Well, we already did the chorus. You know it's the part that goes, Mr. Bojangles. Okay? And that brings us out at the end, if you remember, after that D6-9, okay, and they say, uh, Mr. Dance, here comes the D6-9, and into the D, and you can end like that. Or, uh, I like to end with suspended chords, so I'll go dance, but first, Okay, just that D. Now here comes with the suspended. Dance. D6-9. The D. I like to end it like that. So I'm just taking the D and... It's down, down, up, down, up. And then I go to the D suspended 4, which is adding the third, uh, first string 3rd fret, and do a downstroke, and pull it off right there. And then I lift off the 2nd finger, and go down, up, down, up, uh, and end on a downstroke. Um, with the D. I'm going to do that again. I think I said it wrong. Hold on here. Yeah, it's up, down, up, and then down. Okay? That's how I like to end that song. Okay, that's the way I like to play Mr. Bojangles. Um, I hope I, you know, didn't move along too fast of a pace there. You might need, you know, to write some things down or, or you know, stop, pause, and start again. But uh, whatever uh, you need to do. Again, always make the song yours. Have fun with it and make it yours. Be creative with it. Um, hey, thanks. Bye.